talking about politics, but this time God really spoke to me about the political future of our country. We are roughly 18 to 20 months away from our next general election. And the Lord says that things are going to change in these 18 months. Hold on to your seat. Get ready for major change because God is up to work. In Haggai 2, that's one of the scriptures that have come across all this time lately, is the Lord, this is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. Now, normally that is a scripture that I think is for churches where God says there's going to be change and shifting and the glory is going to come into church. But this time I felt that God's taking that very same word and saying it for South Africa. Everybody is negative about South Africa. The whole world is in trouble financially and war. We're on the brink of war. And everybody is just worried about the future. And God says, more shaking is coming. But in the midst of that shaking, God says, I will fill this house with glory. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. So it was quite a strong scripture that God says, I'm going to change things in South Africa. In the next 18 months, as we run up to election, expect great things. So I was asking God, okay, God, which political party, what are you going to do in this time? And the Lord took me to this scripture where he says, um, no one puts a piece of unshrunk or new cloth on an old garment. For the patch pulls away from the garment and a worse tear results. So in other words, what God said to me that we can't fix the political parties that are currently in the fray. The political parties that are currently commenting and fighting for a piece of South Africa, they cannot be fixed. But there's a new house coming. There's a new situation coming. And God says that this new situation is one of the new parties that are coming up. Yes, there are many new parties arising. I know that. But God is saying that it can't be fixed by the old parties. I want to say to you, ANC, EFF, DA, and even other little parties like my own party, the ACDP, your time is finished. You have had your chance. You should have had an effect in the last 30 years. God is saying, I'm doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing, and I am moving into a new realm. It says that no one puts the new wine into an old wineskin that has lost their elasticity. Otherwise, the wineskin bursts, and the fermenting wine spills, and the wineskins are ruined. Well, South Africa has been a fermenting pot. We have been a place where things have been changing and changing and bubbling and pressure and change. But now we want to try and put in the midst of that process it into a new wineskin and try and change that which is already on the go. And God says, no, put the new wine into fresh wineskins so that both are preserved. So political parties, I want to tell you, your time is up. God is making a shift. God is on the move. And South Africa will see peace in this time. Even worldwide, this is a time for regime change faster than what you've ever seen before. While there is war and rumors of war, leaders will be up one day and gone the next day. And you will be surprised at the speed at which it happens. Because God says, I am creating new wineskins and creating a new process. But this word is specifically for South Africa. And uh, I know South Africa is in trouble. I know more people are leaving South Africa than ever before. And I'm not saying don't leave. But for those that are staying, I'm saying God says I'm going to do something. I'm going to do a new thing. Watch out for a fresh new thing in this time. Amen. This is Apostle Anas from Frontline City Church praying over South Africa that God will do a new thing and do it fast. You have heard uh, from the word of God. Let's hope that it's coming from um, a true prophet and a true man of God. Uh, let's hope for a change in South Africa.
Let's play for for South Africa. Many people say that we should pray for our leaders. They say the Bible says pray for the leaders. Now it's a bit difficult to pray for corrupt people, people who are not repenting, people uh, who steal, and all the hopelessness and everything, most of the things not going well, but let's pray for the country, pray for South Africa, and let's hope uh, things change, and let's hope for better days, and thanks, thanks uh, for watching, I'll see you another day with another prophecy. Bye-bye. To me about politics, but this time God really spoke to me.